Hi everyone and welcome back, or if you're new, welcome, and I hope you'll consider subscribing for more videos like this one. So this is crazy, right? The world is going crazy. Our state has officially been put on lockdown for the foreseeable future, which means our family is spending even more time at home. As the rest of our nation slowly follows suit, I imagine many of you are also in the same boat. So I wanted to make a new video of more fun things to do when you are stuck at home with your kids. So let's get right into it, make some memories, and have a good time while we are sheltering in place. <laughs> the first idea I have for you all is to do a scavenger hunt. You can do this indoors or outside. It doesn't require any new materials and it can really keep your kids busy for a little while. I make a simple picture list of things to hunt for and I send my kiddo on her way. She feels like she's on a mission and she has so much fun hunting out the things on the list. For indoor hunts, we search for matching socks, a house fly, two hair ties of different colors. Outdoors, we look for things like a heart-shaped rock or a big leaf. I'll include a fun indoor and outdoor scavenger hunt list in the description if you want to easily replicate this activity. My next suggestion is to do a fun homemade ice cream experiment. All you need is a little milk, we used coconut milk for ours, some sugar, ice, and salt. You can throw in some vanilla or chocolate for flavoring and your kids can literally churn their own delicious ice cream in the kitchen. The whole project takes up about 30 minutes and it's not super messy and it's fun for everyone. I'll put the official recipe and directions below if you want to give it a try. Next up, for those who don't mind a little mess, is Ooblek. If you've been following my channel for a while, then you know that Ooblek is one of my favorite sensory activities and I love it because it's fun for kids of all ages. Unlike slime, it easily washes off with water and it won't get stuck in hair or the carpet. It also offers a cool opportunity to talk about states of matter with your older children. The recipe is a simple two parts cornstarch to one part water and it can really offer up hours of entertainment for your wild ones. My fourth suggestion is to make homemade stamps with your kitchen scraps. I pulled out an old potato the ends of our celery, and an orange peel, and I let my kids go to town on this oversized butcher paper. You could also use the back of some leftover wrapping paper if you want to make a big surface like we did. I set out some plates of acrylic paint, and my kids really had fun going to town all over this thing. And of course, you can hang up their masterpiece on the wall at the end so they can admire it for days to come. You could also try making your own magic potion or science kit. I set out some hotel soap samples and some jars of random spices and I could let my kids go to town mixing and matching to their heart's content. Totally bought me an hour of freedom and it was so worth it. Another suggestion is to have an in-home spa day. You can rock PJs or bathrobes and make homemade face masks, do pedicures, paint nails, or even just go for a big bubble bath. This is a big hit with older kids and it's a relaxing way to spend an afternoon. Up next, we have chalk games. You can grab a box of chalk for as little as a dollar and it can easily fill a more with fun. You can take turns making hopscotch grids, playing giant tic-tac-toe, drawing tricky mazes, and more. This activity is inexpensive and fun and it offers a chance for a little exercise as well. You can also try this fun experiment that shows your children the power of hand washing. I demonstrated this in my how to talk to your kids about corona video, but I'll put it here in case some of you missed it. Basically, you just fill a bowl with water and you put some pepper on the top. The pepper represents the germs or viruses that are around. Have your child place their finger into the bowl and watch as the viruses cling to it. Then ask them to put a little soap on their hand and try again. Watch and be amazed as the germs run away to the opposite side of the bowl. It's easy for kids to feel confused or out of control right now, so I love this empowering experiment that shows them how they can take charge of their health and well-being. A final tip is to work through the workbook, What to Do When You Worry. It's an award-winning and affordable book full of simple activities that can help your children mentally cope with the overwhelm that comes from a situation like the one we're facing. It gives practical suggestions and strategies that can be helpful for both kids and adults, and I highly recommend you check it out if you notice your children are a bit anxious. So that about wraps it up for this video. Please be sure to share this with the other stir crazy families in your lives thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one adios everybody